So today is Sunday, May 1st, 2022. And I'm officially today, as of today, going to be late again on the rent. Which, for some of you who may be new here, may be wondering, wait, I thought your title said you're homeless. How can you be late on the rent? Well, newsflash for some of you guys who, uh, who don't know, who aren't in the loop, so to speak. I am living <clears throat> on an R in, in an RV in a motorhome, and let me tell you, first of all, there literally are rats. I haven't physically seen them with my eyes, but let me tell you, they are, they're like in the walls, they're in the, in the ceiling, like in between the layers of the ceiling. The layers of the walls, I can hear them scurrying around. There's rat shit all in the cabinets. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on real quick is I I, I disabled the comments because uh, I got to get to bed. Basically, I've been up all night ever since my shift ended, and I got to start my shift later on. <clears throat> yeah, I just been kind of like laying here and. You know, just, it's just, it, it's, everything has just been getting to me. All the pressures of everything, just, it, it, it's just making me want to cave in. I, I just don't know anymore or what I'm trying to say here, but it's just, it's, everything is bullshit, basically. I am working closer to about 35 hours a week what you guys saw in the, in the schedule in that previous video of mine that's i mean that's that i, I mean I, I i don't know how it's really or i don't know it's kind of weird the place that i work at but like they put your schedule on there but if they need you longer i mean you like you can work over but you have to stay under 6 hours because if you're not taking a lunch break and you work over six hours and, you know, it turns into a whole mess, you know, with labor and all that stuff. So it's closer, you know, like I noticed some of the trolls already making fun of me saying, oh, you know, I'm working 30 hours a week, blah, 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 blah B for T, scammer, boo, 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 boo. I'm so sick of this bullshit. Anyway, I'm going to try to stay on topic here. That's That was another reason why I disabled the comments, because I was trying to stay on topic and not, like, get pulled off left and right. But I just wanted to make my point, you know, that I, I'm, I'm working here. I'm employed, for fuck's sakes. You know, everybody kept screaming at me for, for like, the longest time, for, like, over two years, ever since I got fired by Amazon for refusing to get refusing to suffocate in a soggy mask in their stupid hot warehouse everyone's been screaming at me all this time get a job get a job b for t scammer quit begging quit e-begging get a job boo, 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 boo. so and then i finally i went out the mask mandate ended finally got dropped i could finally work again maskless for the first time in over two years I'm working nearly full time. Okay, it's it's closer to about 35, even closer to 36 if I'm like really pushing it. Um so it's really close to full time. And actually as of May 1st today is nearly exactly the 1 month anniversary of my new job. And here I am sitting here in another RV on the street with rats in the layers of the ceiling scurrying around, and there's nothing that my cat can do. I'm sure you guys were wondering about that also. There's nothing that my cat can do if the cat, if, you know, if the rats are in between the layers of the damn ceiling. Like, and Plus, I wouldn't want to subject my cat to that anyway, because I'm sure she could kill rats, but I don't want her getting bitten and possibly infected with God knows what. You know, having all these injuries and infections and all this shit. 
I, I, I just don't need that. She doesn't need that and all that pain and suffering. So anyway, I'm going to try to make this kind of short-ish. Uh, I mean, I, I don't always say that, but um, that's what another reason why I, I uh, disabled the comments there was I'm trying to really stay on topic here. We're just trying to make my point real quick. <sighs> this is just too much. This is just, it's taking such a huge, 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 huge mental and emotional toll on, on just everything. My, my psyche, my well-being, my, my just everything. And I'm really trying my hardest to keep, you know, just to hold myself together and to keep working and keep pushing forward and all this and that. You know, as I said, I've been working nearly one full month. My one year, uh, one year, my one month, I'm really tired, uh, anniversary here was April 2nd. If it would have been April 1st, all the trolls would have never believed me because they would have thought it was just an April Fool's joke. But anyway, so it just happened to be April 2nd was my first day of work. And here I am, May 1st, almost exactly one month later, and about to be late. On the RV rent, about to be late on rent to be homeless here in Los Angeles, California. Like, I, I, I it just feels like I've got to be living in an episode of the Twilight Zone or something. This is just utter fucking ridiculous. Like, how is this possible that, you know, because I was already behind. I was already a depressed fucking mess before I got this job. I was already you know, falling behind on everything, and then I got this job, I saw working, you know, really putting in all my effort, all my, ener you know, energy and effort, and, you know, into this job, being sore and aching every day, six days a week, and then having to wait for those paychecks to come in, as I all meanwhile I'm falling further and further and further behind and then I'm waiting for these paychecks to come in and then I'm having to pay late fees on everything overdraft fees all this bullshit and it's just ah, this is what I mean like I'm really trying to stay persistent you know just keep trying to push forward but this is just really fucking frustrating the fact that I'm you know really I'm really giving it my all here, pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing to the point that the, like my whole body is aching, I'm sore, I'm in pain, and yet I keep pushing, yet I keep, you know, trying to endure, trying to survive. And, and all the meanwhile, I don't want to get, get into all the details and the how and, or, or why and stuff, but I was made to move into a different RV, so, and... It's a bigger RV. I mean, I like that better. Um, and plus, now the trolls don't know where I am. But all on the same page, that was a mission to have to, to pull that move off. And with my cat and everything. While I, I, I just started this new job that's very physically taxing on my body. And then to simultaneously have to try to deal with moving from one RV to another one and then being behind on the rent, the homeless, without electricity or running water. Now, the thing is, he gave me the engine battery from the previous RV, the owner, and what I did, it sounds utter fucking ridiculous, but what I did is, it looked totally fucking ghetto too, but what I did is I took this other battery, you know, because I, I, I have a voltmeter, you know, I, I know I'm not an electronics electrician expert, you know, whatever you want to call it, but I have a voltmeter, and I know, you know, little things, and I tested it, I forget what the exact voltage was, but it, it seemed like there might be a chance to revive, to revive it, so what I did is I just I left it on the front seat of my you know passenger seat of my car for a while. What I what I did I popped the hood of my car, got the jumper cables, hooked it up, 
and I connected it. I ran, I ran it through the window, through the door. I rolled down, you know, the 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 window, fed the jumper cables through, over the steering column, down over to passenger seat. Connected it to the battery sitting there, and I actually had it for I don't know how many days. <laughs> yes, days. Yes, this is the kind of shit you got to do when you're homeless, when you don't have electricity. I had this battery, this big fucking battery, and by the way, I stopped at a Ralph's and got some distilled water, and it was really weird. I went up and down the aisle looking for distilled water because you have to fill a, a battery specifically with distilled water. If you put any other kind of water, you'd risk damaging it and causing all kinds of havoc with impurities and all this and that. So I walked all up and down the aisle looking for distilled water. And I found pure mountain spring water, drinking water, uh, alkaline water, and all this and that. But I couldn't find distilled water. And I'm like, what the fuck? This whole world is such a fucking mess. I could go on about that. But lo and behold, I'm like looking. And I happen to see like up at the way top, distilled. And it was a different color bottle. And then I have to, because I, I don't want to risk getting in trouble, so I like... I, I grab an employee passing by, like, that was doing some restocking, and I told him I wanted that one last distilled water that was up, you know, up top, in the top shelf. So he went up and grabbed it for me, and I filled it up, you know, I topped off all the cells, and I I ran the car driving to and from work for maybe about a week or so with these jumper cables running from under the hood of my car. And I, I would, like, try to roll up the window just as much as I could at night. I know, really sketchy, but, again, the things you got to do for a little bit of electricity. So the, the whole point of this was I was trying to, like, revive the battery because I want to, like, I wanted to, to, to be able to wean it off, the, off of the car and then get it on solar in the RV. So, but I wanted that extra boost from the alternator and from the, and also from the, the battery of the car to, to like kind of also simultaneously charge it and they count, they would kind of like equal each other off. Anyway, long story short and kind of getting, or, or rather short story long, because I'm kind of getting all crazy into details here. Oh my goodness, but... So where was I? Oh yeah, so I was trying to, to re revive this battery, and I'm checking it the whole time with my voltmeter, and it, I I it seemed that you know to get to to you know to an acceptable level, it was over twelve like over twelve like twelve point six twelve point seven volts, so that's indicative of a good battery. So I finally took it out of the car. And so I, and so I could finally roll up my window all the way and open my door all the way when I get in and out. That was so annoying. I couldn't even open my door all the way. But anyway, so I could finally put all my jumper cables and all that stuff away. And uh, it was just such, such a fucking hassle. But I got this battery that was now topped off. And I put it, it, it just so happened to fit. I'll do a video on that in the future, upcoming not hopefully not to dis not too distant future it just so, so happened to fit perfectly in a little cabinet uh over like the toilet and i got my 5 watt solar panel i threw it on the on the roof through the 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 opening on the you know the little uh, the ceiling window and ran the cable down did all my little connect connections and stuff i i need to add fuses though and a charge controller, which I haven't done yet. But in the meanwhile, I have this RV engine battery. Not not the cab battery. It wasn't a cab battery. It was engine battery that was used just to start the engine. Up in a cabinet in this other RV that I'm living in now with rats living in the, in the ceiling layers. And I've got it all hooked up to a little 5-watt solar panel. And for now, I can actually charge my phone and have a little bit of light. But, <laughs> I mean, like that, like, 
I don't know how to describe to people who've, you, you know, you just, you just have to go without electricity to understand what an accomplice, you know, what a big deal and an accomplishment, I can't even speak anymore, an, accompli an accomplishment this all is. I'm really tired, you know, to be able to just have a little bit of light and to be able to, you know, just to, to plug in my phone next to the bed and charge and not like wake up and have a dead phone and then have to like wait until you know I get up and go to the car until I can finally recharge that's the kind of bullshit that I got to put up with living like this again working 35 between about I would say 33 to 36 hours a week just to be on the safe side you know give it a little bit of leeway um and I'm living like that, having to put up with bullshit like that. So, just want to throw that out there. You know, do a little update here. The kind of bullshit that I'm dealing with. You know, how I'm living. And for those of you, you know, who may be new here. Who may be researching uh, homelessness in California. And what people deal with. You know, it's not all drugs and mental illness. I'm not addicted to, to all, any of that hard drug bullshit. Yeah, I smoke weed. Yeah, I drink a little bit of alcohol here and there, but what was that? That wasn't a gunshot, shit. Um, you know, I, 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 I've never touched meth, cocaine, heroin, crack, any of that bullshit. And yet here I am, you know, no mental illnesses either. And yet here I am working 30, you know, like I said, 30, 30, 33 to 36 hours a week on average. Uh, for a month so far and yet I'm going to be late again on the rent yes rent on on another on another RV that I had to move into right after I just got this job this is what I mean a, a lot of people they just don't understand the kind of shit that I go through the kind of shit that I got to put up with it's just so unbelievable Oh, and the other thing, if I don't start sending payments to my dad ASAP, I'm going to lose my car. <laughs> yes, working. Yes, employed. I'm working. Yes, I'm actually working. I'm doing all I can here. I mean, I, I'm even trying to like do some Uber trips here and there before and or after work. And I'm about to lose the damn car. Just fucking kill me now. Holy shit. I think I'm going to wrap this up on the 20 minute mark. Going on just over 18 minutes now. 28 viewers. Nine. Just nine. Nine thumbs up. That's it. Man. Fuck. Can I get it up to at least 10? 11? 12? No. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm just. Uh, I don't know. I think that's pretty much all the points that I wanted to make, all the main points. Uh, leave your comments down below since I disabled the live comment, the live chat, whatever they call it now. And if you can, please, 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 cash app Brian Fritz, dollar sign Brian Fritz, one, two, six, all one word, um, paypal.me forward slash Brian Fritz as well. I believe that's the link, if I remember right. I'm really tired. Get into contact with me as well. 1-802-738-0126 is the hotline number for this uh, channel that I have set up. Once again, 1-802-738-0126. 1-802-738-0126. You know, like I say multiple times, like on the radio and stuff, just to make sure you got it. Or just go ahead and rewind, because you can rewind this later, this live stream. Um, those are pretty much all the points I want to make. Um, yeah, oh wow, 16 thumbs up. Now, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I get it up to 20 before I wrap this up on the 20 minute mark? Going on 19, 45, 46, 47. Anyway, leave your comments down below. Unbelievable world. I'm just going to leave it there. Leave it at that has been Brian Fritz of Network 126, signing off.